Chartrand. I'm here with music director Joe Marcio from the Chatham Corral. We are here at the Geyer Barn. I love this space here. Of course, it's, it's a, our community art space right here in Hyannis, and we love to bring others in to share, and the space itself is open for people to come and enjoy. And one of the things actually that they do enjoy here is music. So it's fitting that we can chat with you today about the Chatham Corral. Thanks for having me. No, we're, we're glad to do it. So tell, I, we, I have so many questions in so little time. <laughs> Let's start with you and your background. Sure. I, um, I grew up with music. My father was a tenor and, and I would go along with him to rehearsals, at everything from a church choir to opera to whatever Broadway musical he was in at the time and, and just had this musical exposure at such a young age. And the thing that always caught my attention was the conductor, this, this person who was sort of able to pull it all together, who knew music, uh, knew about singing, knew about instruments, knew about language. And, and there was just something so amazing to see that individual pull it all together. And I knew at a young age that's what I wanted to do, but ended up taking piano and then later studying the pipe organ. and. Uh, once I got into college, then sort of felt comfortable enough and that I knew enough about music that I could begin to, the discipline of conducting. Sure. Which you said when I had asked off camera, do you sing and you don't sing? Well, I do. I, I'm well, not, a do, not a professional singer. Right. I've studied a lot of voice to be able to coach singers sure. and, and technique, but uh, I've never studied enough voice or, or put enough energy into it to be a, on the stage singing a solo uh, in that respect. I'm a keyboard player by. Uh, by trade, I guess you might say. <laughs> so now you are music director for the Chatham Corral. And yes. what, does, what does that mean? What does that involve? Well, it, it certainly music director involves being in charge of the music. So I plan the seasons, uh, decide what kind of repertoire we're going to sing, uh, the locations we're going to sing it, which is always a challenge. Cape Cod is such a, a large area. We have singers that come from all over the Cape. Our audience is Cape wide. So you have to find the right venues logistically but also the right venues acoustically. Mozart sounds better in one hall than it does another sure. and that kind of thing. So that's really where my work begins is, is to plan the, the architecture of a, of a season. Uh, and then I go about spending a lot of time, for example, this summer, learning all the repertoire or, or relearning it or getting to know it again of all the music that we'll sing uh, in our upcoming season. Uh, and then behind the scenes, there's things like auditions and, and hiring instrumentalists and working with our extraordinarily uh, dedicated board on ticket sales and development. So uh, there's a lot to it. There's more sure. more than it may just appear showing but up at a concert. <laughs> yeah. A lot behind it. Now, about the auditions, do you have singers that audition each year? The, everybody, once you're in the corral, you're, you're, the expectation is that you re-audition every two years. Okay. And I'm just finishing up the, the uh, two-year uh, audition as, uh, this week, actually. And, uh, and then we will we'll hear new singers throughout the years. People move to the Cape or they call and say, hey, can you send me a packet or what's it, what's it take to, to sing in the Chatham Corral? So we're constantly looking for, for new voices. and. Uh, it, uh, it keeps us on our game and, and the auditions sort of raise the level of uh, music that we're able to do and, and how quickly we're able to learn it. So it's a, an important piece of, of who we are um, and, and for our standards. And talk about the music itself. There's certainly you run the range of music as yeah, well. Yeah, we, we have within the Chatham Corral there are two groups. There's the Chamber Singers, which is a group of about mm, 28 singers. And then there's the, the big corral, which could be 80 to 100, depending on the concert. And we offer four to five concerts a year between those two groups. Uh, the big corral usually sings the great works with orchestra, the Brahms Requiems, the uh, um, Mozart Requiem, Beethoven Mass, that kind of thing. Um, and then the chamber singers, well, they do chamber music, a cappella uh, music. Last year we did a program for harp and chorus. Uh, music that fits in more intimate spaces, okay. you might say. Uh, but we also do programs, uh, Broadway programs, pops programs. Last year we did a, uh, a program of all Celtic music. We had bagpipes and Irish harp and fiddles and, and celebrated the music of Scotland and Ireland. So we, we try to do it all. I would say so. How do how do rehearsals work? What's what's the commitment sure. for a singer? Sure. Well, rehearsals are every Thursday night for about two and a half hours, and then if you also sing in the chamber singers, you have another two and a half hour rehearsal on Monday nights. Uh, so for some people, it's it, it, for ev all the singers, it's a big commitment because uh, one of my expectations is is uh, rehearsal is just sort of the start of things. You during the week. 
they have homework to do. I expect right. them to learn their music so that when they come back, we can talk about diction and phrasing uh, and the music. But uh, rehearsals begin with a with a good warm up, and then we we dive right into it. And uh, I try to make rehearsals as fun as I can, but. There's a lot to do and, sure. and, and so little time, so we have to, to stay very focused usually. And uh, uh, but we try to have fun. We have a break and in, in, in the middle, and there's always good laughter and, sure. and, and we have fun. We have fun with rehearsing. I'm sure good friendships are formed as well. Yeah, the chorale is a family, and and I think a lot of any musical ensemble is like that. Although having experienced a lot of ensembles, the chorale is is pretty special. Um, in that way. They really support one another and uh, th they have this similar love, which is singing, but also they all love the Chatham Chorale and, and so every member is dedicated in some way to, to supporting the group and supporting one another. It's, it's, uh, it is pretty unique, the, the level that they go to. Um, to, to support each other. Sure, and I would imagine the audiences that that's what they take away from that. that they I hope so. That. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, they, this this is a group of people who loves to sing, uh, who loves doing what they do, and and I hope that comes through in the music. Uh, you you can't. I don't think you can be a great artist without being passionate and comfortable and in love with with what you do. And uh, these singers, they these singers all fit. Um, that criteria, sure. uh, which for me I think makes the music even better. Sure, makes the, the whole experience, mm -hmm. uh, brings it to a new level. And now you've been with the Chorale since 2010. Correct. And you said we, we were also talking about what you would like to see for the Chorale. Mm -hmm. The Chorale has been around for 40 plus years now um, and has a great tradition and reputation beyond Cape Cod. They've sung with the New Bedford Symphony, they've gone to Europe, and so we, my, my immediate goal has just been to, to maintain that level of greatness in, in the Northeast, really, but also grow who we are as singers. Each rehearsal, I hope we get even better, and every performance, I hope we get even better. Uh, we've expanded our limitations with some of the repertoire. Last season, we did some really, really challenging stuff. Um, and just, just some innovative programming, too. We've sung uh, this Celtic program. We did a program for Chatham's 300th birthday that uh, incorporated a new, a new work just written for the occasion. Uh, the chamber singers have done that recently in Wellfleet, uh, again, uh, presenting music that had never been heard before uh, to celebrate uh, Wellfleet's birthday. So uh, we're just trying to do what the crowd has always done, um, but, but get better each week and uh, continue to go places that the crowd hasn't uh, sung before. That's right, including, that leads us right into uh, the Village Green That's here correct. in Hyannis. In the summertime you do a, a special a special tour as it was, mm -hmm. it, as as yes. it were. Yeah, no, so tell right. me a little bit about that. Sure, we do a, what's called a Salute to America concert around the weeks before and after the 4th of July. And we've never sung in Hyannis before, and we're excited to be there uh, this year. This is a, a lighter program. It's all the patriotic favorites, the battle hymn, uh, God Bless America. We do this really fun armed forces salute, and so we invite members of the audience to, to stand if we, we sing their song. Uh, but it's also things American, uh, West Side Story, uh, Leonard Bernstein, and uh, uh, just a whole, there's, there's something on that program uh, for everyone and it's a free concert uh, usually we have to charge tickets to rent concert halls right. and hire instrumentalists but this is our way of saying thank you to Cape Cod for for being so supportive to us all these years and and hopefully into the future so we we like to go around and, and sing this special music for this very sure. festive time of year it, it's a wonderful gift and I think as well that you don't patrons don't have to but they're encouraged to bring a food item which I think is a wonderful touch yep. as well yeah we we want to we want to support the community in we, any way we can not just artistically and other times of the year we do that as well we have a messiah sing and we uh, use the proceeds to support the Noah shelter and that kind of thing so we're we're in the community and we want to support the community that we all love well, that's fabulous. Tell our viewers how they can get more information. Sure. Um, ChathamCorral.org uh, is our website, and you can find uh, calendar updated uh, information about the season, and you can order tickets there as well. And there's a 1-800 there's a number on that website as well if they want to talk to someone in person about uh, the events coming up. Excellent. Well, Joe, thank you so much for your time you. today. For Joe Marcio from the Chatham Corral, I'm Melissa Chartrand wishing you an artful day.